Hey guys. So I've been looking for uh, an alternative to carry, you know, carry with me for a launch uh, while I'm out. I've tried those uh, Mountain House uh, things and a few other brands. And uh, I mean, they're okay. I, they, I mean, they taste okay. And, uh, you know, but I find they're a little bit on the expensive side. Up here, up here in Canada, for um, one of those bags, they tend to go for, uh, you know, ten, twelve dollars sometimes, depending on where you buy them from. So um, I just wanted to, uh, you know, find an alternative to buying those kind of things and seeing, you know, trying to save a little money. And uh, I bumped into a guy named uh, Joe Robinette on. Uh, he has a YouTube channel, and uh, he was making his own uh, dehydrating uh, spaghetti and things like that. And uh, I decided to give it a try. So um, in this video, I'm going to give you a, a you know quick look of uh, you know how it looks and just how it tastes. So um, I whipped up a uh, I whipped up a, uh, a batch of spaghetti a while back for supper. Took some of the leftovers, mixed the sauce with noodles, mixed it around, and threw it in the dehydrator, and uh, it, it dehydrated. <laughs> and uh, we're going to test it out and see how it tastes like once we rehydrate it today. So I'll give you a look uh, at what it looks like. I'll pull out a couple of pieces here to give you a close up. So inside uh, inside my spaghetti, I had uh, you know basically uh, spaghetti noodles, uh, red peppers, green peppers, celery, uh, some ground beef, uh, onions, garlic, and uh, noodles, and uh, you know a few other spices and whatever. But uh, I'll give you a look at what it looks like once it's been dehydrated. Close up of this here, uh, through the bag. I got a fair amount of spaghetti, kind of all dehydrated here, and uh, just to show you, it's dry and bone dry, bone dry, crumbly. And, um, you know, they kind of broke off into things. I, I, I chopped up the spaghetti before, uh, I chopped up the spaghetti before I, uh, I dehydrated it. But, um, it seems like it's going to, it's going to work pretty well. So we'll, uh, we'll rehydrate this in a minute once my tea's ready. And, uh, we'll put on another pot of water. We'll fill this up and we'll, uh, I'll show you how I'm going to do it. Because this is my first time. I have no clue how, how it's going to be. But, uh, we'll taste it in a couple of minutes. Stick around. All right, so I'm gonna bring you in close, and uh, we'll get that uh, get that spaghetti on. Let's take a look. Make sure this fire doesn't go out on us. All right, so we're gonna take a bunch of this spaghetti, throw it inside the cup. Now we've got to keep in mind that this is going to get, you know, rehydrate and get a little bit big. So um, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to fill it up too much. But let's give you a quick look. This thing will hold uh, 750 milliliters. So we got it in there. And I'm going to fill up the water. Just to cover it. and take a look so basically what I've done is I just brought the water right up to just a little bit higher than the level I may throw a little bit more spaghetti in there just to make it even then we'll stick it on the fire and let it cook you know what guys like a bit of a dummy uh, I came out to the woods for lunch with no spoon so uh, I was planning on making a uh, making a spoon out of this piece of cherry and uh, doing a video on that but uh, I think I'm gonna have to bang out just a quick uh, little spatula that I'll be able to use to uh, eat my lunch so while that's uh, being being taken care of um, let's see if I can get this thing going I do have my 
My hook knife on there, I'll put a little belly into her. All right, and here we go. Handle's a little hot, so I gotta wear my gloves. You rehydrated quite nicely. I probably put a little bit too much water inside, but take a look at that. That's all right. My ugly spoon. <laughs> anyway, let's see how it tastes. Uh, it rehydrated quite nicely, and you can see I've got like uh, you know like little chunks of meat in there, and it, it came back it came back quite nicely. And uh, you know I can't wait anymore. Let's let's give this a try. We got a nice chunk of meat right there. That looks all right. My ugly spoon. Sorry about the spoon, guys. I'll have to do, shoot that video another day. But here we go. Let's uh. Give it a taste. All right, smells. Smells like it did with the day I cooked it. It's a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit, uh, not a little bit too much water, but it looks like it's uh, thickening up quite nicely. Oh yeah, that's good. That's really good. Mm. Real hot, but real good. Noodles taste like the day the day I cooked them. The vegetables didn't quite fluff up the same way, um, rehydrate the same way as they were the day I cut them, obviously, but uh, the meat did. And uh, oh, this is good. So for something that would have been leftovers, you know, saved me quite a bit of cash. Because it probably would have gone to lunch or end up spending, you know, sitting in the refrigerator until it went bad. So, good way to rehydrate, uh, good way to uh, save some, um, you know, save some leftovers. Get you prepared for hiking. Once once it's dehydrated, it weighs nothing. And it uh, rehydrates nicely, tastes great. With, with less uh, preservatives. Very little salt. It's definitely the way to go. I give a thanks to uh, Joe Robinette if you happen to come across this video, buddy. Uh, thanks a lot for the tip. <clears throat> and uh, I'll be definitely doing this from now on. I'm going to try something next time, maybe with some rice and some meat. See how that goes. Rice, meat, and vegetables. Anyway, I'm going to finish this up, guys. You guys take care, get out and explore. And uh, give this a try. I'm pretty sure you'll like it.